This video demonstrates one of the approaches to laparoscopic suturing and knot tying. The technique demonstrated here is the technique developed by Dr. James Butch Rosser. Others, including Dr. Zoltan Zabo, have developed uniquely different approaches in which the needle itself is not grasped in the process of knot tying. We will begin with a review of the techniques of the Rosser approach to laparoscopic suturing. The critical steps of laparoscopic suturing are 1. Introduction of the needle 2. Grasping of the needle 3. Tissue penetration, and 4. Knot tying. In the first step, the needle is introduced into the abdomen. The needle should be introduced with a non-dominant hand. The needle is introduced by grasping the suture, not the needle. The suture is grasped approximately 3 centimeters behind the swedge of the needle. Grasping the suture too close to the swedge hinders rotation of the needle to the correct orientation if needed. The suture should be picked up from a neutral position with the needle pointed in the direction you are planning to sew. For a right-handed person, the suture will be grasped with a left hand three centimeters from the swedge and with the needle tip to the left of the needle swedge. The suture is introduced through a 10 millimeter port. The next step is grasping of the needle. In this step, the dominant hand, in this case the right hand, grasps the needle one-third of the distance from the swedge to the tip. Grasping too close to the tip prevents adequate tissue penetration. The next step is tissue penetration. As in the open arena, the needle should enter the tissue at a 60 to 75 degree angle. The needle is then rotated through the tissue following the curve of the needle. Use of axial needle drivers such as the Ethicon German needle drivers facilitates this step. The non-dominant hand can help stabilize the tissue as the needle is rotating through. The tip of the needle is grasped as it emerges through the tissue with a non-dominant hand. This grasper should then be locked to prevent accidentally dropping the needle. The last step is that of tying the knot. After leaving a short tag, the non-dominant hand is brought back to a position over the tissue. The needle, which is held in the non-dominant hand, is maintained at a 45 degree angle in relation to the long axis of the needle driver. This facilitates the wrapping process. The needle should be positioned to the north of the knot. Bringing the needle south of the knot results in a bad orientation of the suture material you're trying to wrap. By keeping the needle north of the knot, the suture material is parallel to the dominant hand instrument, which will be used to wrap the suture. The first wrap is two clockwise turns with the needle positioned to the left of the knot and the tag of the suture positioned on the right. This allows the dominant or right hand instrument to fall on top of the tag after the clockwise rotation. At this point, the left hand, or the non-dominant hand, goes to the 1 o'clock position and the right hand leaves the tag at the 7 o'clock position. The left hand then comes back to the right side of the knot and is held close to the tissue. The right hand then rotates counterclockwise, grasping the tag of the suture. The left hand then goes to the 11 o'clock position and the right hand goes to the 5 o'clock position, leaving the tag at 5 o'clock. The third and final wrap is a single clockwise wrap. The left hand is to the left of the knot and the right hand rotates clockwise around the suture, grasping the short tag. The left or non-dominant hand then goes to the 1 o'clock position while the right hand goes to the 7 o'clock position. This completes the laparoscopic surgeon's knot.